Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. Prudence, the virtue that makes you good at making decisions, like all the cardinal virtues of justice, courage, and temperance, it takes prayer and practice. But there are a few things that really wreck our process of making good decisions. So what are some key things to keep in mind as we strive to get better at decision making? First, don't rethink a choice when you're in the process of carrying it out. Think about it before you begin it and then just do it. Take your time and deliberation, but once you've reached a decision, act quickly and decisively. Put your hand to the plow and don't look back. Now, obviously, there may be times when you need to reassess, but since prudence is based on information and relevant information, reassessment probably shouldn't happen unless there is new relevant information that surfaces after the decision has been reached. And as a rule of thumb, the realization that something is hard or that you're not enjoying it as much as you thought you would doesn't count as new relevant information because sometimes doing the right thing is hard or not very enjoyable, at least at first. And since commitment is the core of virtue, you definitely don't want to get into the habit of not following through on your commitments just because something is hard or not enjoyable. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in our is now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second thing that wrecks good decision-making is the need for certainty. Don't wait until you have absolute certainty before making a practical decision. As the great Catholic philosopher Joseph Pieper writes, the prudent person does not expect certainty where it cannot exist. So if you wait until you've proven perfectly the right thing to do, 
why you'll never do anything. All we can do is try and understand the situation as best we can, given the information we have and the time available. Then make a decision and carry it out. We have to accept the fact that every practical decision entails risks. There is no guarantee, but we have to be able to make decisions and act with abandonment and trust in divine providence. So after we go through the necessary steps of deliberation and then making a decision and acting and following through on the decision, then we've done our part and we have to surrender the rest to God. Leave it in his hands. At that point, we need faith in him. Faith that he'll use even our imperfect human choices to bring about his plan. And sometimes our decisions aren't the best. And sometimes they're even downright poor. But look at how St. Joseph, who was a holy man, and certainly must have discerned carefully He planned to divorce Mary quietly, but God didn't let St. Joseph's imperfect decision-making ruin his plans or Joseph's future. So we have to make our decisions with confidence, but not confidence that we're definitely right. Rather, confidence that God will bring good out of our honest efforts to be as prudent as we can. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third thing that wrecks good decision-making is being controlled by strong emotions. Now, there are certain times when it's prudent to avoid decision-making altogether if we can. We have to be very careful that our decisions are the result of an honest examination of reality. And in certain situations, it's very difficult to have a good grasp of reality when we're controlled by emotions. But remember, thinking must rule our emotions, not vice versa. 
So it's imperative that we don't let an emotional reaction dictate our behavior. The first emotion that very frequently throws off our decision making is anger. But a prudent person will never, whenever possible, make a decision when angry. Don't say anything when you're angry. And for the love of Pete, don't post or email anything <laughs> when you're angry. Better to sleep on it, postpone the issue, put it aside until you can weigh things calmly and coolly. The second emotion that destroys good decision making is lust. Lust can be a very powerful feeling. And many of us have said or done something ridiculously foolish while under the influence of sexual desire. In fact, St. Thomas Aquinas goes so far as to say that failure in prudence is caused chiefly by lust. So if you're feeling sexual desire and you're in a volatile situation, step back, get some distance, and give yourself some time before you do something you'll regret later. The third emotion to be wary of is discouragement. When we're feeling depressed or even discouraged, or just simply when we've been sick, our view on reality will be skewed, will be overly pessimistic. And so the decisions we make will be based on error. So having suffered a failure or fallen in sin, or having made a stupid move, all these things tend to derail our assessment of ourselves and even of the world. And so we should do our best to avoid decisions at such times. Remember, prudence is about allowing the truth, not feelings, to determine our choices. So make sure you're in a place where you can think clearly when you decide, and don't let passion get the upper hand. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Prudence is about smart living. It's not just about being smart in school, or being a smart tennis player, or being smart in business. It's about being smart in life. 
And just like all the other virtues, it takes practice. Experience, too, is a great aid to prudence, and not just your own, but the experience of others. So are you humble enough to seek counsel of people wiser than you? Most importantly, do you take time every day? Do you begin the day by seeking out the counsel of the wisest persons? The Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Our Lady, St. Joseph, the saints, your guardian angel, go to them in prayer. Ask them for wisdom and guidance in making the right decisions in your life. Read the scriptures or the lives of the saints for insights on how to make prudent choices. And for the rest, well, leave it in God's hands. Trust that he will do great things even with your incompetence and uncertainty. Because if you try to be courageous and prudent with the time, the information, and the brain that God has given you, you're going to be fine. Why? Because God has your back. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, mm. save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us, us in battle, battle. be our, our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, pray. and do, do thou, O Prince, Prince of the, the Heavenly Host, host by the power of God, God cast into hell, hell Satan, Satan, and all the evil spirits. spirits who prowl throughout, throughout the world, world seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So what were you reflecting on during this meditation, Teresa? Mm, I was actually just very at peace and reflecting on how satisfied I have been in the last year with my decision-making and with where all of my decisions have brought me. That I might might, might not be proud of all of my strengths, but... I think you've taught me very well as far as decision making. And I can reflect back on all of the times that I made terrible decisions out of anger and things like that. But, and those things do overtake me a lot, but having a lot more 
instances this year of being able to, like you said, when you're angry, you don't have to make the best decision. You just have to not make a decision. That's it's the your best time decision. to shut up, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's the best decision. Mm -hmm. Don't I, make a decision. Oh, I wish I could. I think I was just editing the transcript for meekness, which lines up very, very well with all of this. Yeah. Talking about, it's not about, it's about controlling your anger so that you can use it to the effect that you desire. Because that can be the issue is we think because we're angry and because we're justified that we can act however we feel we want to act. But at the end of the day, that's not actually going to get us where we want to go. It's not going to have the effect that we want. If you're really frustrated with someone and you go with your first instinct, the feeling that you're prompted to is potentially just going to make that situation so much worse and give you so much more to be angry about and maybe even justly angry about. But the thing that's going to actually solve the problem is usually a little bit more meek, more controlled. It takes a moment of pause to think, consider what is actually going to get the job done. Yeah, it's probably never good to go nuclear right away. <laughs> yeah. You think about, that's a good way to put it. I think about that incredible story of the, during the Cold War, there was the man who had, essentially, he was the last decision maker. He was completely... The Russian. Yeah, the Russian. He was there alone with the button, and they saw the, on the radar, something has entered our airspace. We think that the West is essentially nuking us, do we send our nukes right now? And he decided not to, he paused, he waited, and it was just a glitch in the system. Nothing happened. And he had the fate of the world in his hands at that moment. But we often, we see it and we think, I'm not even gonna think about it, I'm just going to go nuclear. Yeah. Yeah, meekness, this is definitely a virtue I have to work mm -hmm. on because my my nature is uh, uh, I'm a reactionary. I'm a fighter. I'm going to enter into conflict. Mm. Conflict. I'm going to hit it head on. When it's amazing how often if I stop and instead, as I said recently. Mm -hmm. If I, if I would entrust it to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, so often they solve it with, without my wrecking it. Yeah, yeah. We, th we think that only our immediate action will do anything, but often us just stepping back, you might just watch it fall into place. It's, it's, it's kind of like, I, I was playing putt-putt recently, sometimes you can just watch it curve <laughs> back around. <laughs> You know, you're freaking out like, oh, it's, it's, it's gone. I've lost. There, there's nothing we can do. And it just curves back around. <laughs> you never know. But you just got to step back. Don't freak out. Yeah, that's exact. That's meekness. And I think about, I've definitely said it before, but the, the line that you are not your first thought, but your second. We, we all have impulsive thoughts and the things that cross our mind. And we think, am I terrible? Why would I, why would I even want that? But yeah. it's the second thought, the, the reaction to it. And I've had so many times where I think of someone that is deeply wrong to me and I'm like thinking of all the spites, all the immediate spite and things I could do to really wreak havoc in their life. Ah, And then the second thought, do I really want that for them? No, I don't. I, I really don't. I understand like the this feeling that we want to balance out the hurt. That's all that feeling is it's not that we really want evil for that person but we want to balance out the hurt we're hurt that yeah they walked away that they walked away from a hurt unscathed we don't just want them to suffer we want them to suffer what we suffered and that will actually change nothing but that's it's, actually it's called the vengeance. second thought exactly it's the second thought that at the end of the day you really don't want that and that's what we should be acting on yeah we should never ever ever act in anger but it's such yeah. a powerful emotion but we, but we are stronger than our anger it doesn't feel that way but we are stronger we are. than our anger and strong because of our anger but not if we let it overcome us i think we sometimes 
we we feel that if I don't act right now, I'm I'm being irresponsible mm -hmm. or weak. Or even or, worse, we're just not even thinking about it. We're, uh, we're not thinking sure. about it. That's true. We're just not thinking about it. I think in most of those situations, the frustration when I look back is that I just didn't think about it. Or we're just mad. And again, it's you're not thinking about the actual effect it will have. But will, it, will this get the job done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will it get the job done? Will it get the job done? I'm finding over and over that Jesus and Mary get the job done for me so amazingly. I can't tell you how many potential conflicts I could have had recently, but I've yeah. specifically asked the Sacred Heart and the Immaculate Heart to take care of it for me. Mm -hmm. And they do miraculously. Our first step ought to be step back, mm -hmm. entrust it to the sacred and immaculate heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're Wait. They do a lot more than we can. Or they're also going to give us the, the, the faculties to actually handle that situation. Yeah, either they'll take care of it or they'll give you the grace and the knowledge and the strength to do what you need mm -hmm. to do. Any any time that I feel things going downhill really fast and it feels out of control, I just take that moment to acknowledge it and trust it to the Holy Spirit. And there's there's nothing the Holy Spirit can't rectify. And you know another principle that I think is very important is that uh, if you, if you're if you're going to say something extremely sinful hurtful or evil uh, just say it verbally and don't put it in writing because then you can always <laughs> deny it later <laughs> we can't we're, we're doing this on record <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> wait people are listening to this <laughs> it's a it's a terrible thing i've had to reckon with is oh no every word that comes out someone remembers it and tells me about it yeah it, which is a good thing to because even if we don't keep an account of these things I'm telling you now, God's keeping an account. Yeah, but yeah. So don't don't think it's just dust in the wind. <laughs> it, those words of Jesus in the gospel, I need to think about them more often. Where he said, "We will have to give an account, mm -hmm. basically pay for mm -hmm. every idle word every we say." Every idle word. Let alone but that's every the key simple. word, idle. Why do you think idle is the key? That. It, it's similar to the, the greatest hurt Jesus is suffering is the indifference. It's so much more than just what we think we're responsible for. It's what's so much worse is the things we act like we're not responsible for, the things we don't even consider. I, I think about the times I've been hurt when I'm, I'm most deeply hurt. It's not even that people are trying to hurt me. It's that they don't care and that's what hurts. They're not thinking. Mm -hmm. But that's exactly how I approach so many things where I'm like, I'm not responsible. I wasn't even thinking about that. I wasn't thinking. But it's a job. It's interesting. Idle is like putting your brain into... But you can't really. As in... No, yeah, we do. We, we, we put our brain in neutral and then we let the emotions take over. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he... I actually think that's yeah. what he means by idle words. Mm -hmm. We stop thinking and we let our emotions take mm -hmm. over. But we're always culpable. It's always. It, it's like people say, "I never intend to get drunk." <laughs> well, 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 who yeah. made you take the shots? Yeah, but exactly. We're always culpable, even when we're not. We're like, "That wasn't my intention," but you're doing it. Right. Or I didn't mean to do that while I was drunk, but you got drunk, didn't you? And that's that's your choice. And that's the the concept of idleness is even if you're choosing to not think about it. You're thinking about that. That that was you let this happen. Yeah, you're responsible. You let this happen. You're you're responsible for everything that's happening in your life. That what you're doing is what what you're doing is. It seems so obvious, but mm. we have an obligation, and it's who we our actions and our thoughts. These things make up who we are. So if that's all spent in idleness, then are you trying to be nothing? Are you trying to be no one? And it's amazing how powerful words are mm. that's so true because i look back at the good things i've done that you song. don't realize the words effects. as weapons oh i forgot about that song was great 
Who sang that? Was that, was that Seether or something? I think Seether. I think it's Seether. Words are weapons. That's a great song. Yeah. We'll have to listen to that after. I haven't thought of that song in just about a decade. Yeah. We use our our words are very powerful weapons for good mm -hmm. and for harm. Or an even better reference, that Nothing More song talking about you, you plant a seed expecting to see an instantaneous reaction and you're so disappointed and then years later you come back and see the tree standing over you. How do you but, tie that to But words? with actions, you think it has no effect. Oh, right. And then you might see years later how deeply you hurt someone or how deeply you affected their life for good. Yeah, that's true. Because you have true. no idea. When you're a friend to someone, when you are patient with someone, when you forgive someone, you might not see the effect and that might be very disappointing and discouraging. But when you're making decisions yeah. prudently, you see those trees much, much later. You see how it grows. Yeah, well, well we're and so... And how in, it grows in you. We're so in trees either way. It's just yeah, good trees or bad exactly. trees. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so true. Hmm. So what do I have to do? I have to learn to be... I have no... I have to practice to be meek. And what I really what I really have to do is stop with all this BS of wishing mm -hmm. I was meek. And I have to get serious at becoming mm -hmm. meek. Mm -hmm. And above all, just in every moment, actually stopping, thinking, and trusting our, our works, our thoughts, our actions to the yeah. Holy Spirit, to God. Yep. That's right. Ah, thanks for the conversation. Thank you. Let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.